Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at convertible bond example. Adam Company has $2,000, $1,000 bonds, each convertible into 50 shares of $1 par value common stock. Let's translate into simple English. Adam Company has right now 2,000 bonds. Each bond has a face value of 1,000 and each bond is converted into 50 shares. So if we take those 1,000 bonds, multiply them by 50 each, each into 50 shares will give us 1,000 times 50 will give us 50,000 new stocks if we convert. What's the par value per stock? The par value per stock is a dollar. Now, when the unamortized discount on the bonds was 30,000, so those bonds are, are recorded, are on the books at a discount, and there's 30,000 of unamortized bond, the bonds were converted into common stock. Well, let's take a look at our, if we look at our books. In our books right now, it would look as we have $2 million in bonds payable. How did we come up with $2 million? We have 2,000 bonds, and each bond has a face value of 1,000. That's going to give us $2 million in bonds payable. We also have $30,000 discount on bonds payable. Discount on bonds payable is a contra liability, so you need to know it has a debit balance. So this is what we have right now. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. Now, the market value per share of common stock is $22. So the company stock is selling at $22. Using the book value approach, record the conversion. So we want to record the conversion. Well, at this point, once I know I'm using the book value, this is what usually happen, you would use the book value, the fair value per share, the market value is irrelevant. The book value means take out the bonds, replace them with stocks, no gain, no loss. This is what the book value is. It means no gain and no loss. It means the fair market value of the stock are useless. So how do I convert? Well, to convert, I have to remove the bonds. Well, the first thing I have to debit bonds payable, 2 million to bring bonds payable go down to zero. So I will debit bonds payable. This discount exists to serve this account. So if this account is being eliminated, I have to eliminate the discount. I have to credit the discount of 30,000 to bring that balance to zero. So I will credit the discount 30,000. So simply put the bonds and its related discount account, which is the sub account of the bonds are gone. Now I need to issue the stocks. Well, how many stocks am I issuing? Again, each bond is converted into 50 stocks, not $50, 50 stocks. I am issuing 50,000 shares. The par value is a dollar. Therefore, I am going to credit common stock for this amount of 50,000, which is the number of shares I am issuing times, which is 50,000 shares times the par value. The par value is a dollar. Now, if the par value is $5, I multiply by five. If the par value is 10, I multiply by 10. Remember, common stock is credited by the number of shares times the par value which will be giving. Make sure you know this, you make sure you memorize this. So, okay, now I have, I issued the common stock, but what else do I have to do? Well, obviously I have additional paid in capital because when I issue the stock, the common stock is 50,000 and that's replacing 1,970 of bonds. It means the remainder is a plug-in of additional paid in capital or paid in capital common stock, which is 1,920. And this number is a plug. Plug means whatever I need to do to make the entry balance, assuming I accounted for everything, is paid in capital of common stock. So this is what I did. I removed the bonds. So the, the purpose is to convert. Convert means get rid of the bonds. I got rid of the bonds. Then I issue the stocks. I replace the bonds with the stocks and I don't record the gain. I don't record the loss because and because I'm using the book value. Book value means there is no gain and no loss. You are basically exchanging your capital structure. There is no justification from the company's perspective to book a gain, which an account goes on the income statement or a loss. There is no such a thing. 
So this is how you'll work with a convertible bond situation. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources, examples. That's going to help you understand this concept, which is which you will see it in your accounting course, CPA exam, CMA exam, as well as other certification. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.